wasn't really prepared. What's going on, divers? This is Jacob from the Chaos Divers. I hope everyone is doing well. We'll wait for everybody to get here and uh, say hi. I hope everyone's having a good Memorial Day weekend. Just wanted to talk a little bit about um, a little bit about my course that we're that I'm taking. The Master Diver course has been amazing. The instructors have been super awesome. Uh, Terrence and, and Dave have really taught me a lot. They've, they've always taught me very well. Um, but this three days of training, the two days so far have been just unreal. So I want to say special thanks to Mermet Springs for providing the instructors that they have. If you guys haven't checked out Mermaid Springs, it's definitely a place to get trained to become a scuba diver. And if you don't, if you aren't around the area, please find a local dive company to get your training. But please do keep them in mind. It is worth the drive. Hello, everyone. Let me say hi to everyone real quick. Yeah, I can see now. I was a little bright. What's up, Lindsay? Uh, Brian Sevenicuda, Billy Browning, Lynn Mertz. That's awesome. You're taking your diver's course. Yes. Um, thanks to your guys' help, I was able to get the training. Um, this course definitely is more, um, more stressful. Um, and it also is one of the milestones in scuba diving so the course is a little bit more intense. There's a lot more training and it costs a little bit more. So thank you guys for your support in helping me reach this goal. Um, we have done two days of training so far. Let me see if I can get a better... That's a little, and hello, Tara. There we go. That looks better. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Melissa, Kathleen, Harold, Harry, Harry Joe. What's going on? Richard Morales. What's up? How's my dad doing? He's doing okay. Uh, Fox Buck. What's up? Tara Mason, Teresa. I had the honor to see Tara Mason and Gary at their house. They uh, they let me come in and uh, talk with them for a little while. Um, it was great to see him again. And Gary is, there's still a lot more um, healing and a lot more uh, therapy that he has to go through, but he's doing okay. And I wanna say thanks again to the people who helped them through the rough time that they went through. The GoFundMe that we made for them had helped them when they really needed it. Um, Gary was especially, um, he, he couldn't thank me enough for what we did for him. So that's pretty awesome and I'm glad to have been able to do that for him. The Fog, what's up? Uh, they, left, they let you in. Yes, Kathleen, they did let me in. I was so happy. <laughs> they have a really beautiful house and uh, they're great people, so. Hey, Chaos Divers, good to see you again. Yes, this wheel's live. How are you? Uh, David Mack, what's up? Gary Rocks and is a trooper. Definitely, David. Uh, de de definitely, for sure. Um, other than that, I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that I have one more day of training what time is it over there? It's 11 o'clock. That's, that's why it's late night chat with, with chaos. There, there is a few, se there's, there's a few several, another. It's not a squirrel moment anymore. It's a scouting moment. That was Tara's idea. She said, it's not a squirrel moment anymore, Jacob. It's scouting. So I'm scouting right now. <laughs> Thanks, Tara, for that. Let me see if I can get this up a little bit more. Scouting, exactly. 
So if y'all don't know, Scout is the name of the squirrel that is on the shirts now and all that stuff. So um, there is a few other things I wanted to talk about. So when, what's the difference between the normal diver and master diver? So, um, Mary, to, to explain that to you, you have to have four specialty dives, four specialty qualifications like deep dive, nitrox, and just a few other um, navigation. It's four specialty dives and over 70 dives, and there's a few other steps in between. But um, the qualifications that I have, and now I've taken a stress and rescue course, that qualifies me as a master diver. Question, how many more training days do you have left? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the, hey, Ringo and Czar from Borkulo, Michigan. What's up? Borkula. Oh, anyway, um, tomorrow we do the scenarios, real life scenarios, where we go out. Kathleen, he bribed me with a plant. I did bribe you with a plant, <laughs> a, uh, a plant and um, lilies, I think. Am I am I right? Lilies, yeah. <laughs> Lawrence Morrison, what's up? Main differences are qualifications. Please stay out of the caves. I'll tell on you. <laughs> I'm not doing cave diving yet. Master squirrel diver, flowers, lilies, yes. Master Squirrel Diver. Master Scout Diver. <laughs> Master Scout. Leave a like. Thank you, Maverick. You're doing a great job as a moderator. I appreciate you, little buddy. Hello from Stillwill, Oklahoma. Hello, Brenda again. How are you? All right. Now, so there's another subject. Um, Smyrna, Tennessee, if you guys haven't heard, they had a, was it 1982? Was it a Cessna that went down? Or what? I'm, 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 I might be wrong on that. I think, I think it was a Cessna. Um, I left work at 11 tonight. Yeah, it was a Cessna. Um, so. So I'm not for sure exactly the details on that, but there was a plane crash that went into Smyrna, um, Tennessee, which was exactly the same location that we ate on. We ate at we ate at the marina where the area of the plane went down. I saw Cessna. Yeah. So what I want what I want to do right now, guys, is I want to give a moment of silence to the seven passengers that were on board. They are presumed to be um, deceased. And I just want to show them some respect and their families some respect. Um, so we're going to do a moment of silence and uh, I'll get back with you here in a second. So if you guys pray, please pray and um, for their families and hopefully they can get them recovered. They're on their, you know, they're working through the night. There's a whole bunch of agencies down there. So Hopefully they'll get everything resolved. But right now we're going to um, give it a moment of silence. So thank you. Okay, well, I, I pray that they, uh, that everybody gets recovered and, and things, the families have, you know, time to heal and, and hopefully everything will be, okay for the, for the divers and the recovery goes well, so. Anyway. So, with that being said, um, you guys, you just you just never know. Um, you just never know what tomorrow brings. So always hug your loved ones, 
and um, your family and the close ones, you know, call up your friends and tell them that you love them. You know, I, I tell all my guy friends all the time, um, you know, you just never know. Oh, wow, that's crazy, Byron. So, finding the airplane will be the hardest, yes, definitely. Um, not for sure how fast they were going whenever the plane crashed, so there may be, it may be hard to recover the actual plane. It may be in pieces, I don't know. I don't know the details, um, and I don't think many people will know the details with that type of accident. So, hello, Ruby. Hello, Kathleen. I said hi to you already, but hi. <laughs> I also, 70 to 100 feet. Oh, wow. Have a good night. Bye. Sandy Phillips, have a good night. Sweet dreams and all that good stuff. I know it's late. I just wanted to get on here to let you guys know about how my um, class is going. Sounds like he had a bad start to the weekend. I did have a bad start to the weekend. Um, I actually had a really great time so far. And it was just the news this morning about the plane and stuff. So it was kind of crazy. It's sad. But I also want to tell everybody, and, and I know that I say this all the time, and I'll keep saying it all the time. You guys help a lot. If it's buying merch, if it's, um, you know, donations, stuff like that, thank you so much. And with that, I want to tell Miranda Harmon, thank you. Jamie Ewan, uh, thank you. So I'm just going to go through the list. So Judy Smith, Terry Spitz, um, Jennifer Reynolds, Randy Jones, uh, Sherry Loftgarden, Francis Haney, if I hack your name, I am so sorry, Helen Daly, and Kirsten Tuxton. Um, that was just a few on the list that had purchased stuff from the store. Thank you so much. So uh, I just want to reiterate that what you guys do for this channel is amazing. Never stop learning about being a better diver. David, that is really good um, information right there. You can never be a perfect diver. You're, I mean, I mean, you could be a perfect diver, but you'll never stop learning as a diver. And if you do, you just need to get out of the water. There's always something to learn. Can you put this number in your info? I'm not for sure. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Leave a like. <laughs> Thank you, Maverick. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Melissa Spry. Hello. I'm trying to catch up on everybody's chat. If I missed your chat, I'm sorry. I'm just waiting because nothing's actually popping up, up on my chat, so... I think I've caught up with everybody. I was getting on late. How was your diving class? Carol, was, it was amazing. I'm going to bed. Long day. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, Tara. Fox Buck. Night, Tara. Night, Tara. Bye, Brenda, again. Most amazing men. They're the same in person. Janice, they're, they're most amazing men. They're the same in person, very genuine. Thank you, Tara. I didn't see that comment. I guess I was reading the thing. We are from <clears throat> Tennessee. Well, hey, what's going on, uh, Brian and Cheryl Richardson? Thank you, Alice. I'm, I'm not a master diver yet, but by tomorrow, I hope to be. Steph, I'm gonna have to get another. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. How you doing, Jacob? I'm doing good, um, LNW show. All right, so it's basically all I have for you guys, other than these keys, 
I've got a Facebook post out. Guys, when I say share it out, I'm trying to find the owner of these keys right here. Man, I read the wrong title. <laughs> this is like, a, I talked to the Kia company and they said this is a $350 key fob. That still works. It's still, you know, the button still, well, yeah, it, it all still works. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I want to find the owners of these keys. Um, I've left messages with the, um, yeah, I'll think of it here in a second. I can't remember what lake I was at. Kincaid Lake. I left a message with the, Marina, that if anybody asks for keys, which they haven't had anybody ask, so I doubt it. Hey, Fernie, what's up, TK? Signage at the Marina. You know, I mean, these, these people could be long gone by now. I mean, they could be from Chicago, for all I know. Um, lost and found, I need to get a hold of them. <clears throat> I only got a hold of Marina. <laughs> somewhere the car alarm is blaring, right? Um, to see if they had had somebody ask for the keys, but I don't think so. Uh, Got to go. Have a great day tomorrow on training. Stay safe. Richard, thank you, buddy. I will. TK, Adventures and Bass Fishing with TK Heaven, guys. He is a super close friend. Well, I mean, a brother of mine, pretty much. And hey, Rebecca Zach. You did make a live. They were there with someone, right? Exactly. Um, hi from Arkansas. Hello, Adam Pierce. But definitely check out Adventures of Bass Fish with TK Heaven. Great channel. Great guy. Couldn't ask for a better person. I moved him, I moved him to Chicago and only seen him one time. <laughs> He says, oh yeah, we're gonna see each other all the time. Hmm. Much love, buddy, I'm just kidding with you. I don't know, we've seen each other twice now, haven't we? You better get some rest for tomorrow. I will, no, I just got on here to, to say hi to everybody and let everybody know. Lindsay, is there a phone case that will fit my Samsung S51? There's a whole bunch of options. The scroll down menu, I'm not for sure if the phone case will actually fit it. That's a question for Lindsay. So you asked the right person. Seen each other once for sure. Yep. I drove down last time. Your turn to drive up. I did drive up. <laughs> I've been watching you on Adventure with a Purpose for a while. Hold on, hold on. Uh, for a while, you guys do a great job. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Maverick, for dropping that link. So, Lindsay can answer that question now. I think she missed the question, actually. Is, yes, Ruby, I believe there is. Okay, so there you go. Don't die with empty tanks. Billy Browning, that is, that's good advice. You gotta take TK a cane or something. Uh, Maverick, thank you so much, but no need. There is too need for that, TK. You've got a great channel. You need to, you know, we need to either go fishing or, or you can go take me out on the water so I can go dive. Uh, you're very welcome. Love to meet, love to meet both teams someday. Uh, where did you say you were, Adam? Hey, Scout, you left the ice cream out. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> she called me Scout. <laughs> Thanks. I know it is. Jacob, bass fishing underwater. There you go. He did drive up to you. That's what he told me. You were home. <laughs> I'm not for sure when we're coming back to Tennessee. I do know. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Uh, 
She's laughing right now, I guarantee it. <clears throat> uh, I got a uh, magnet and it came with Loctite, but not sure what to do with it. The fog. So on the screw part of the Loctite, see, if you just screw that into the magnet, it will work its way out throwing it and stuff. So what I usually do is I'll take the top of it and I'll put that blue Loctite or whatever color it is and kind of go down it, put a towel underneath you, but go down the threads of that. I mean, you, you can get them all on there, but if you just go to the top, it'll drain itself on there around it and then screw it in all the way. And then what that Loctite's gonna do is it's not gonna let it back out anymore. And if you want it off, you have to literally take a pair of vice grip, or not vice grips, but a monkey wrench and just take it off. <clears throat> just don't get the wrench too close to the magnet because it will stick. Or like if you do, don't make sure, make sure your fingers aren't in the way because it will hurt. I promise you. Ask Lindsay. She, she got a she got the uh clippy pretty close to her fingers. I'm in northeast Arkansas in a town called Pocahontas. I was at Pocahontas. I drove straight through there. You're getting crap about the ice cream. Yeah, I am. So there was something else on here I was going to say. Love what you guys do. I was like trash collecting. Hey, yeah, Carol, it is, it's awesome to clean out the, um, the river system and, and all this stuff. Uh, I got the magnet. So, so that's what you do with the... <clears throat> that's your face, Jacob. <laughs> uh, Jacob, magnet question. What would a good area to check? Boat ramps and what else? Boat ramps, boat docks. Not just throw that sucker out as far as you can, but be strategic with it. If you are on that boat ramp or the boat dock... Would you be fishing? And if you were fishing, where would you be at? So you would basically go along that dock and just drag the magnet beside every portion of that dock until you like pretty much gridded the whole dock back and forth. That's a good way. And if you can, without hitting the poles, make sure you throw it underneath the dock because when something falls out, it usually goes underneath it. That's where you're going to find all your goodies. Uh, your pliers, if there's wooden areas where stuff can slide in the holes, you, scissors, all kinds of stuff. Um, hello, Lacey. I haven't seen you typing, but uh, I see TK said hi. So what's up? Also, what, there was just something else I was going to mention, and I'd forgotten. What was it? Oh, I forget your guys' name, but you're from, um, yeah, Tennessee. I'm going to be down there with Die for Good on June 12th. So I'll be going down there. We're going to we're going to remove a vehicle out of the river on the 12th. So we will be down there. Linda Peterson, what's up? So yes, I will be going back down to Nashville. I did go just go down there 2 days ago to deliver the It'll be in Nashville, Brian, um, to deliver the submarine, the ROV, to Bryson. And since I wasn't at the <clears throat> the recovery of Bill Simmons, um, I went I went over there to the location, and uh, I I paid my respects to him. Um, so that was definitely heart wrenching for me. Um, but I wanted to go down there and, you know, pay my respects to him. So I did do that. Uh, I don't know, Byron. Positive vibes for tomorrow for you. Thank you. Guess the guys found the Missouri mom is suddenly missing. Found well, that's that's good. They found him safe. Well, that sucks. You'll be gone June 12th. I'm on vacation that week. Sorry, buddy. I haven't um, completed it yet, Karen. Tomorrow, tomorrow I hopefully will complete it and become a master diver. So 
I won't be a dive master. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. A dive master is basically professional. I'm just borderline um, reaching that professional level. Um, there's like dive guide and a couple other things before that. So I do intend on getting my dive guide and I will see about getting further, but Dave, it's still early there, too early for bed. <laughs> I know I was, I'm getting ready to go to bed here shortly. Well, I got to go. Hope for good luck tomorrow and, and squirrel on. Thank you, Billy. I will be getting, all right, Adam, have a good night. I will be going to, I, I will be having the ceremony, like the ceremony <coughs> if I pass. Tomorrow evening, hopefully, um, Glenn and the instructors will will talk to you guys a little bit, and I will have that on on live whenever I get my certification of a master diver. Yes, the certification includes open water. You have to have your open water to get all the other certifications of uh, of, of a master diver. So. Just to give you an idea, I've got, I think, eight certifications, eight specialty dives or training, and then over 100 dives. So, pizza party. <laughs> I'm very much praying for you. Thank you. Um, I will, Like I said, I will be going to Nashville June 12th. Somebody said something. Hey, Jacob, how did the tournament go? Oh, the fishing tournament. Last weekend, my dad and I fished a tournament. We thought we had, I mean, the way the fishing's been going, it's been horrible. And we got on to fish, and I was, it was about 12 o'clock, maybe 1230. Um. We had a decent amount of fish, but we only had four fish. I'm like, Dad, we need that fifth fish. And I threw that spinner bait way up in the shallows, and then all of a sudden I seen a side flash, TK, and I went, I didn't even feel the fish. I set the hook, and it was a four pound, seven, four pound, four, four, seven, nine. I'm like, Oh, Dad, we, we got this one. <laughs> so we went into weigh-in at 3 o'clock. Um, we ended up getting fourth. But I thought I'd have big bass. I didn't even have big bass. Oh, yeah, I'm still using the triple threat, but I didn't catch it on that one. Um, but, yeah, I thought, I thought we had big bass. But the guy... Who got big bass had a four nine seven instead of a four seven nine. I was like, oh! So we ended up getting fourth out of twenty seven boats. So I was happy with that. Hey, what's up, Matt Farrell? Ike, you always catch a big fish, Jacob. You still make those triple threats? Yes, I do. Seven sixty bass fishing. Um, I was going to make a stock of them and then put them on the store so you guys can actually see them. So happy for you, got this, congratulations, good night, God bless. Thank you, Carrie Smith, have a nice evening. On that note, guys, again, thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm gonna get off of here, I'm gonna get to bed, got a long day tomorrow. Keep diving, it's not worth it to stop. And uh, for those who don't know about it, I'll just be in Nashville for one day, Nicole. Um, those who don't know what I'm talking about, keep pushing in life. See, you should have thrown us in. Keep pushing in life. It's, it's not worth it to stop. Life's too good. Somebody out there loves you, and if they don't, I love you. So there's always somebody out there that loves you. And... uh 
I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you again. Thank you, Kevin James Stout, on the good luck. I'll need it. See you guys.